The crew went towards the area of the mining base as they got new news that two, well, yeah, a few battleships had arrived at the mining base and destroyed it. And the fact was, is that this was essentially it. One moment. I don't think you guys have yet. Okay. Essentially, oh, this is it. Essentially, when they arrived, they discovered that both the Aegis Dawn, the Lord Rivet ship, and also the Mandalorian battleship <laughs> of good old uh, Astrid's fiance was hanging around. Yeah, they joined forces. I told you we should have fucking castrated him. And along, along with them was also a few Wrecking Crew people. I think it's someone I need to kill now. We should have castrated him when we had the chance, man. The team used their stealth technology to go down towards a gas giant and follow after a cargo ship, which they limped it onto, and arrived to discover that they have actually moved the Bloodforge out of the Age of Storm and down to the gas giant below onto one of the mining platforms. I guess it's time to Malikor 5 that bitch. Is that a term? Can we do that? Uh, well, you don't have the technology to. <laughs> you have a few billion credits. But you also have, uh, when they were down there, Astrid tried three separate times to put a tracking device on the cargo ship. Failed all three times. And if anybody takes a look at the uh, tracking uh radar that Jack probably has, all you would see is like normal tracking device, normal tracking device, and one that's going 300 miles per hour at high speeds, which is probably the one that's going around the planet right now. <coughs> Other than that, she did manage to hack and gain entry to the system in order to, well, discover where the ships were going, what they were doing, and their supply <coughs> routes. You would and also notice that the one that's zipping around the planet at 300 miles per hour is labeled Astrid. Yes, because she lost her own tracking device <laughs> along with the two others. I don't know, 300 miles per hour around the planet is kind of slow, actually. 300 miles per hour wins. But here's but... the thing. Now, since you have discovered this fact, you basically, well, the others at least, has been contacting people left and right in order to get something together in order to, well, help with this. And that is where you're currently at now with everybody on the spaceship and awaiting. So, do you guys wish to coordinate yourselves and get ready, please? Ash, did you mention the Mandalorian ship was there as well in your summary? Yes. So, from what I gathered right now is the call all your allies for the party type of deal. Or... Yeah, essentially people are doing that. Um... Okay, back up a second. What, like, where where are we and what the hell are we doing here? What's the mission? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. The original <laughs> mission, if you remember... No, I was, don't. The, ...was the fact that this mining base <laughs> had the stolen artifacts that were taken from Typhon. Oh, okay, yeah, check. Yes. And uh, I take it some other people showed up to the party that aren't supposed to be here. Yes, essentially cool. it was... Cool, now who do I kill? It was empty before, but now Rivik and Yulin and the Wrecking Crew has essentially arrived on planet and are doing something much bigger with the Bloodforge Wait. with the artifacts. Rivik or Rivik? Rivik. Check. Alicia, calm down. There'll be plenty of people to kill later. <laughs> what? Mm. Alicia? <laughs> They're basically transporting bits of the Blood Forge from like a mining base, um, or to a mining base actually. Yes. So that they can rebuild it. So this is basically their villainous grand scheme that we found. Yes, this is true. Think of this like the Death Star. <laughs> yeah, this is oh, the Death shit. Star, and to fight it, we've gathered. The 12 angriest boys in the solar system. They are very angry. With the 12 boys. angriest boys? Well, just... if any if any luck, 
Darth Malchus is going to show up. So cool. He's like <laughs> like the top six angriest boys. D Darth Malchus is a guy who like more or less actually runs the Empire. <laughs> <laughs> the poster child of the old republic. The guy that yeah. in every cutscene is fucking demolishing Jedi left, right, and center. Yeah. The man that had a mountain crack before he did. To yeah. be the, fair, uh, the to be fair killing is Jedi is right not really that big a deal. I mean, Jedi just love dying in cutscenes, so. I think, I think you missed the point of. Tibby. Yeah. Tibby, are you eating a microphone? No, I'm uh, throwing some trash away. Don't worry about me. He, what he's doing is he's wrapping his mic in a protective wrapper. <laughs> yeah, so essentially, it's from a word as original. Darth no, Malchus is <laughs> the kind of name that you get when somebody mentions it and everybody word goes, "Oh fuck, he's coming." Jack's I want having to a see my Sith boy. <laughs> Who would appear the, the forces with me? Sorry, the word as original joke got me. I'm well, one with the force yeah. and the force is with me. <laughs> yes, we know you have a weird fetish for the force, we get it. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Actually, wait, yeah, no, no, now by now you do have well, an idea. You underestimate his power. You oh, no. underestimate my power? Uh, probably not, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I do have a weird fetish for the force. Yeah. <laughs> or at least his character does. Right then, so... My spacey boys, what are you doing? Like, we go through each of you in turn then. Jack, uh, what are you doing? Sorry, spacey boys. <laughs> so, I. So, <clears throat> Sam was contacted and informed about it. Yep. Uh, the hope being that Sam can get Malgus in the best possible scenario, any How other do... Sith Lord in another possible scenario. Ah, oh. Can I ask? Quickly ask how the hell Sam would have enough pull to like even make a Sith Lord. Uh, we also contacted Orville. You remember God? Oh, gang. never mind. That makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, it's more of a. I don't know who Sam's masters are, but the fact that I contacted him and Orville is also on board. Uh, we also got you to contact uh, Master Shillak. Okay. Um, I've started basically, you remember how every mission we do, I basically just turn down the credit and say, now nah, you get this one fam, you know, have a promotion on me. Oh, and then uh, like, uh, you owe me a favor, now you, we're calling in all the chips. Yeah, I'm calling in favors. Yeah. Uh, I'm half surprised we haven't called in Clan Eleni yet, but... Wanna? Who? Are you gonna call Astrid's dad? The Invals. <laughs> I mean, do they owe us anything? I think they don't, as far as they, I know. You yeah, have their son are, and you know, daughter on the ship this moment. To us I mean, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they, like, technically, there's, they don't have a stake in this, I think. But yeah, well, I mean, if you want to call them, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. Um, so that's the plan on the list. Uh, was there anyone else that I said last week that I'm leaving out, or I'm just including in my selenium uh, person? Is there anyone else that... Yeah, I mentioned Shilak. Shilak. Yeah. Uh, Orville, uh, Sam, Ifo, um, we'll see if Amanda wants to contact Manaleni, that one's sort of up to her. Uh, and then the miscellaneous contacts. Uh, we already gave the boards some bone hurting juice to buy us some more time. Bone That's hurting fine. juice? What? I want to RP out a conversation with Captain Jack as soon as I can. Go ahead. Also, roll your fucking destiny dice! Ah, really? Oh yes, we probably should oh, yes. roll our destiny dice. I'm trying to think of anyone else that needs actual contact. Oh, also, Hello, I, know, I know what I want to do. <laughs> but I'll wait. Astrid looks at everyone and dice. Look at me. I'm the Sith Lord now. Huh? <laughs> she rolled it black. Okay. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? She's the Sith Lord? Fuck, there goes my arc. Adam, am I gonna have to take the high ground now? It's over, Sibby. <laughs> you underestimate my power. Ah, oh, goddammit. Uh, so yeah, that's the, the list of people contacted. Um, and then mm -hmm. the plan was, we didn't have a definite combat plan, other than we took a shit ton of just, um, 
and have them ready to transmit. But once people start turning up, we'll liaise. That's and fair depending enough. Depending on if Malchus does turn up, just follow in his wake like scavengers. If he turns <laughs> up, we don't really need too much of a plan other than just lamprey onto the bottom of his ship, boys. He'll do the big work for us. <laughs> Fuck being heroes when you can be glorious. That's me, Ash. Feel free to move along. Fishy boy, Have you I. may talk to Captain Jack. Oh, nice. Uh, Keynes comes into the cockpit, and he actually, on... You've only seen him angry a few times, but he's angry right now. He's staring at you. Captain! We can't rely on the Sith to help us! With this blood forge? What do you think they're going to do? They're going to use it for themselves and destroy the Republic! Not if the Republic's here as well. Exactly! That's why I urgently request we have them, <coughs> as well, in equal numbers! Well, that's rather off the Master Shillac. I'll talk I asked with Master Tizzle to Shillac. contact her. Yes, and I'm going to contact any old friends I can from the military to make sure she like has the help she needs. But whatever happens out there, Captain, we can't allow the Sith to get away with the Bloodforge. I can't Agreed. believe you didn't think this through. I agree. They can't be trusted at all. If anything, Link us a few times. By the end of today, it will have been destroyed. If not, That's... I'm hoping Ifo will see the value in salvage and help us have that happen. Promise me, Captain, we'll do everything we can to destroy it. As long as it doesn't put the life of my crew at risk, I promise. That's fair enough. Keynes looks reassured and turns to leave. And then I'm going to try and get on the line with Master Sh Actually, no, I'm going to go to Tizza because she'd have her contact details. Yes. Tizza, where are you? Um, you can Tizza? probably find her in my, quor in my quarters, I would assume. Good. Comes and knocks on your door. Yeah. Um, well, uh, after a few moments, the door opens and you see a completely darkened cabin behind her. Hello? Yes. There's only one in there. Uh, no, she's standing in the doorway, but behind her, the cam cabin is completely dark. Like, there's no light turn on. Oh, I see. Okay. <clears throat> um, yes, Kynes, can I help you? Yes, we need, we need to contact Master Sherlock immediately. We can't allow the Sith to outnumber us in this confrontation. This I know. Why is there such urgency? Because this is the blood forge we're talking about, and from everything we've learned, it's the most dangerous weapon we've ever known. I'm not even sure the Force could help us if the Sith ended up with that. Well, it's if fortunate we... then that no one should end up with it. Yes, it must be destroyed, and I'm sure we can get Master Sheerlack to agree with this and come up with a plan for destroying it. Even if we can, I'm not sure the Republic would agree. The Sith certainly won't. What do you mean, the Republic won't agree? Not everyone in the Republic is as honorable as you, Kynes. Keynes closes his eyes for a moment with a resigned expression. I am quite wouldn't be surprised if there are elements who are looking who, who will look to use this to gain power or or other means. Sir, before I started on this ship, I would have vehemently disagreed with you. But deep down in my heart, I know you're right. Yes, we must we must trust. Master Sheer like with this. Do you know if she has any soldiers and ships that are loyal to her? 
She might, but they're also very far from where she is. But yes, I will call her. And then I will trust that she will contact whoever is required. Excellent. Would you like me on the call as well? Or can you handle this yourself? I think I can handle that myself. If you would like to con contact any of your old contacts. Very well. I'm glad you understand the gravity of the situation, Kisha. You are, indeed, a true Jedi. <laughs> At least to me, anyway. <laughs> when you say that, Tisha sort of gives a small cringe. He doesn't notice. Whenever she, whenever you call he chooses her, not to notice. Yeah, I know. But whenever you call her a Jedi, she cringes. He's like, no, I'm not. You are a fine Jedi. Um, Ash, I'm going to see if there's anyone at all I'd trust <laughs> not to... Uh, any old contacts from the Republic that I'd trust not to report to the overall military and involve the entire um, organization in the, the you battle You do have for them. a few friends here and there that you could probably contact. I'm going to try and involve those with Master Shearlack and maybe it'll add a few more ships to the Republic forces that will show up. Okay. Um, fair. No. I take it we have not dumped Catgirl. No, Catgirl is still there. <laughs> she is more, <laughs> nope. She's more or less like... <sighs> Just resigned by this point. Has, going, has she been informed of what the fuck we're doing and why? She's been listening <laughs> no. in, but she's still okay. like, what the fuck? Has she been training with the blaster? <laughs> she's been no. doing it now and again. She just, uh, she just been fucking about basically. Yeah, just no, like, I'm, uh, I'm going to approach her. <laughs> Have you finally decided to throw me off a ship? It would be preferable. She says as she no. comes over. What do you know about the Blood Forge? The Blood what? Sounds evil and very Sith like. Sounds very Sithy. <laughs> very Sithy. <clears throat> well, a Sith Lord is in control of it right now, although I'm not sure I would call him a Sith Lord anymore. I'm not sure what he's loyal to or what he's intent to, intent to do with it. But no, this. Bloodforge much predates the Sith Empire. Oh. I am assuming you I assume you are familiar with the Rakata. He just gives you a blank look like what who? He is clearly Never... always more of a force <clears throat> user than history. <laughs> Never mind. Just Well, simply put, it's a very old device created by a race that had an empire that spanned a galaxy many millions, uh, many thousands of years ago. That's not important. What's important is, you are quite right in that this is probably a very evil device, although we don't know for certain exactly what it does at the moment. It seems to be something to modify living beings. Modify? That really does sound <clears throat> evil. Tisa just gives her a shrug. It's like I don't know anything. I don't much more. Don't know much more than that at this moment. In any case, I'm going to contact Master Shilak about this. I've been keeping her apprised of our findings. Well, tell her to pick me up as well while you're at it. I was thinking that you might want to weigh in on the conversation. Going after some evil Sith artifacts? We basically rebuild my reputation? Yeah, I feel like uh, that would be nice. I've been stuck on this ship for months. Um, it's been months. Just, just so you know, I kept the parts of your saber if you would like to repair it. She holds out her hand. That would be... Very, very nice, if we are to go into battle. Um, yeah, I hand, her, hand them over with no question. He looks because at I her don't... in size. She's like, I can't believe she cut it in half. Well, it's just the fastest way to render a double saber unusable. Still... Be grateful it didn't go for the neck! 
I could have destroyed the Itch. crystal. I tried very hard not to hit it. That's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. All I need is make a housing. That should be easy enough. Uh, do you have a toolkit? Yeah. Well, I got basic tools. Nothing too advanced. Perhaps you would like to borrow this. I produced my toolkit given to me by. Uh, uh, what's his face? I don't re fucking remember his name. You're yeah, never man. gonna return those to us, are you? <laughs> no, he gave me a personal set. Like, I, I gave yeah. him back his. He gave ah, me my okay, set, okay, but okay. my own. Yeah, so she's got her own. <laughs> but yeah, she does. She nods and goes, I would love to. Yes, I found them quite useful. Uh, Master Hu Yang is... Has, he has an eye for, to, an eye for tools. She, she does give a nod. <laughs> but how did you get these? Isn't this for Quest of Huang? Uh, well, it just so happens that in our travels we did encounter Master Huyang on, on Zerus, in fact. Huh. Uh, and well, I had I happened to found find his toolkit, and I gave him give it back to him, and in return he gave me these. Interesting. Well, then, That's one I'll, way to put it. I will accept them to repair my saber, and I shall consider <laughs> breaking it in the first place. Forgive them. Ah, uh, Tizios bows. Very well. But your friend Fight is them. not forgiven. Just so we're clear. You are. She's not. Ah, uh, wait, my friend? One with the long white hair. The one that actually stabbed me. I oh. didn't stab you. Well, <laughs> if I wanted to stab you, you'd be dead. <laughs> Just a quest tool. Hmm. Curious. We were in a battle, and I thought Jedi didn't hold grudges. Isn't that an emotion? Eh, well, so, so, so. I mean... Holding grudge and acting upon it is two different things. It's called cowardice! <laughs> uh, don't mind her. <laughs> I'm afraid my friend isn't quite as enlightened. Just because you yeah. use fancy words, that doesn't make you smart. <sighs> you know, the button for to purge the airlock is right there. Eugene is also here! Let's just, <laughs> let's just go call Shinak before my headache gets any worse. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Essentially, she's got to come with you while fixing her saber. <laughs> she's very adept at doing both at once. Uh, I'm assuming we're probably going to end up somewhere. Yep, she's going to go over here. Because there's a computer here. Yeah, um, ring ring. <laughs> intergalactic call. Right. <laughs> oh, not intergalactic. Um... Intragalactic, but whatever. Interplanetary. As you, oh. as you give a call, you notice that Shulek is currently on the bridge of a ship. And you see her answering, going, Yes? Oh. You two. Master. Master Shulek, have you had a premonition? Premonition? No. I was just surprised to see that you were still here and hasn't dropped off in Ferris yet. I mean. After all, I have been away from the planet for almost two weeks now. What do you mean here? What do you mean here? Like, what are you saying? What? <laughs> what are you no, saying she, you she said <laughs> she's surprised I'm still here, and I was, I was like, what? Yeah, you know, anyway. still there on the ship, uh, oh. not on um, the planet. <laughs> why are you traveling? If you remember, I was on Typhon for a little bit. Oh. I was heading back to Ferris. What Never is mind. this call? Uh, well, perhaps you could be... Perhaps you would be interested in diverting your travels and uh, also perhaps calling some friends. We believe we've located the Bloodforge. I see. Who else has still been told this information? Well, there's a very good chance the uh, Sith is going to come to this party as well. 
vampire, that is. Well, if it's any consolation, I don't believe that any for side should be allowed to keep the blood force forge for themselves. Yes, of course, you are right. We would destroy it either way. They wouldn't be able to stop us in the midst of fighting if they do join. And apparently they have a bounty on that person's head anyway. And they're a big one at that. <clears throat> Well, in any case, as you can imagine, I am... Well, we are anticipating that they are going to have quite a force to contend with, considering how they seem to be able to grow soldiers and on demand. Four sensitive ones at that. She nods. No one should have that power. Then... I shall be there. Simply send over coordinates. I send the coordinates without any question. Because I'm assuming we ha we have located the blood force, right? I'm not lying. Not only do yeah. we have the coordinates, we have a shit ton of pictures of everything. Yeah. I send her the entire fucking game. I, I send her a compressed data package because I can do that because I have computers. <laughs> I don't know if this has a mechanical role, but I don't care. Now, anyway, the yeah, thing no, is, is she old-fashioned? Does she know how WinRAR works? I, I, basic <laughs> I basically just send her an info dump. It's like, Sorry. bam. She's a true go. Jedi master. He paid for it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Only true Jedi Masters pay for Winwar. But essentially, she's <laughs> gonna... She's gonna agree, and then... You need anything else? Before I... Well, make preparations? Uh... No, I don't believe so. Then so be it. I'll... I shall meet you there. Although I... Well... I'll leave... You two to have a conversation if you have anything to say. Uh, and Tisa sort of steps away so that uh, Amari can have her talk if she wants to have a talk. Maybe she doesn't want to have a talk, I don't know. She looks towards the screen and says, bye, I will bye, see you bye. soon, Master. And she <laughs> nods, I will see you too, Anne-Marie. And with that, the screen goes blank. The hologram is now gone as she like, is preparing for war. What is it good for? Uh, killing people. Solving most of our problems. Say it again. <laughs> right. That's you prepared. Uh, Astrid, did you want to prepare anything? Okay, so... Astrid's gonna contact Clan Eleni, but then she thinks about it for a second. And, uh, <clears throat> instead, well, she is going to contact Clan Eleni, it's just before that, she decides that it's finally time to put the robot to rest. And she's just gonna kind of <laughs> wipe B2 from all systems. <laughs> well, as for Captain Jack, you do get an alert of this. Like, you, to access any critical system, she still needs, you know, to ask your permission. But it's only normally like a yes or no button. Now it's a yes or yes button. <laughs> <laughs> we programmed it, both say yes, plus yes. <laughs> Why does this chat read like sexual innuendo? Yeah. <laughs> slides it's in okay. data. I knew it was slides coming. In. It slides in data sleep. Uh, I want to point out I had previously established that I was going to do this and that I had seen where this was going. I like my bad influence. I like keeping so, it. So, in other words, as you're backing up, you essentially do you press OK after you backed up B2 on Tuesday slate? Suddenly, yeah, your USB I drive know. seems 20% more evil. A version of his personality onto a data slate just for me. Okay, so, that, so... You know, no one will be any the wiser when he gets mind wiped that he still lives on. You say that, except for the thing is, is that Astrid knows she needs your permission, and when you basically just say okay without any sort of communication to her or anything she's she's immediately suspicious because she knows you and since you didn't put up any sort of fuss about it when you did before she's pretty sure you have him backed up somewhere so she just kind of gives a disappointed sigh and a shake of her head 
much disappointment, young Sith Lord. I'm not angry. I guess disappointed. Okay, she's so. very disappointed, <laughs> no, but she's not going to say anything. <laughs> so, essentially, but Jack, your you pain have... is like nothing next to the Force. You have backed up B2, actually has wiped the remains off of him off the ship. And is there anything else anyone else wishes to do? I wanted to contact my family! Oh, okay, contact your family, I'm sorry, God. <laughs> Chill, stop! She said, sobbing. <laughs> Rying her eyes out. Right, carry on, you may contact your family. Yeah, I just wanna... Wait, why am I contacting my family? So we can kill Yulin? There's a giant Mandalorian warship in orbit. <laughs> And then, like, we're gonna kill you then anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna contact my dad and inform him of the situation. Okay, so as you as you're talking with him, as you mention the first thing, like even how do you like how do you say this to him? Because he's actually on the line now. What do you say? Wait, so what do you mean by first thing? Do you mean by the, the first time I mention it or the first uh, yeah, word that like, comes uh, out of my mouth? Like, what's the first word that comes out of your mouth? Is it, Dad, I need to get ready for battle or something like that? No, it's hi, Dad. Ah, uh, okay. Because I'm getting greeted Dad, like a normal fucking person. Yeah, she, 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 she Bastard knows how to do that. She just, she just cocks her gun. That's her greeting. <laughs> 